up guys? Another Wi-Fi that I'll be uploading here tonight on Thursday, or today on Thursday, bro. This is against Red Lightning 3, and this guy has wanted a Wi-Fi battle of our battle upload for quite some time, and I finally found one that I feel comfortable uploading. And it was very, very, very close. So yeah, this took place also a couple weeks ago, much like the previous one that I uploaded. And he is running a mega low punny team, and once again, this team has bulk, just like the other one. Heatran, Tyranitar, Skarmory, Clefable, Low Pony, obviously the Mega, and Garchomp. On my team, I have Magneton, Clefable, Garchomp, Altaria, Starmie, and Inferni. So, this is actually a, a Mega Altaria team I constructed about a few weeks ago. It did not do that well. Well, it was alright, but it did not perform that well. And, yeah, it just wasn't meshing too well, so I did take it apart since then. But this battle was pretty good. So, yeah, basically what I have to watch out for is making sure that, you know, I can get rid of the bulk on his team to set up with Altaria, and if his club fable is unaware, then the Altaria, the Mega Altaria dream will not come true. Magneton, unfortunately, won't do any good trapping Heatran. However, if I can get Mega Magneton in with the Skarmory, then I can, you know, Magnet Pull, Magnet Trap that um, Skarmory and take it out fairly easily, unless it's holding a Shed Shell. Uh, Magneton should be able to sponge up a Moonblast and Thunder Wave from the Clefable. Magneton, even Scarred, will probably not outspeed the Mega Ball Plane, because uh, if you barely outspeed base 120s, then yeah, I don't think it's going to outspeed something base 135, unless Mega Ball Plane is adamant. And I do want to keep my guard shot alive to sponge up hits from Tyranitar and Mega Low Punny. Sorry, I do want to keep alive to spin away rocks. He does have like five potential rock setters in Garchomp, Skarmory, Tyranitar, Heatran, and Clefable. So that's one that also I need to keep in mind. But with all that in mind, let's get right to the battle. So I'm going to start off with my three besties in Magneton. He's going to start off with Heatran. I don't have to worry about him switching to Garchomp because of the Magneton, unless Heatran for some reason runs Shed Shell, which I doubt it does. Anyway, Magneton will go for the Volt Switch on the Heatran, and I'm going to switch right into Beyblade the Sarmie, anticipating possibly Stealth Rock, so he goes for a Lava Plume instead. So that was actually kind of curious to me. I'm going to go for a Scald with my Sarmie. He's going to switch out and go into his Tyranitar, and. This skull in the Sandstorm does over half, which tells me that this might not be a defensive Tyranitar after all, so yeah. Does over half damage to Tyranitar, or about half rather, and I know I'm Pursuit Trap, not sure if it's gonna, if it's Scarf or not, so I go for a skull again, hoping to take it out, but it is indeed Scarf, so it does Pursuit Trap me and knock out my Starmie, which is unfortunate, as that was my only means of getting rid of Entry Hazards, so. Out comes my Coconuts, the Infernate, out goes the Tyranitar, not wanting to take a possible close combat, I go for the U-turn, worst case scenario, he, st he stays in, and I do super effective damage, so, Inferno goes back to my party, and I'm going to switch in Fluffy Bay, the Altaria here, I am going to go for a Dragon Dance, predicting him not to want to stay into that, he's going to switch out and go into Clefable, so I do get a D-Dance off, and yeah. So I do Dragon Dance, I'm at plus one, and I go for a return, hoping that this will be enough to take him out. He does not get hurt by the Sandstorm, which tells him this is not an unaware Clefable. Fable, it is actually a Magic Article Fable, so. Thunder Wave on my Altaria, not good for me. Really praying that he goes for a Soft Oiled or Moonlight instead of a Moonblast on my Altaria. And he does just that, because I did not want Altaria to paint yet, I just want to get some more damage off on him. So I do go for the or try and go for the return, and it does not work because Altaria is fully paralyzed. Sucks. I'm gonna switch Fluffy Bay out, and I believe I go into Sakura the Clefable, which is my cleric of the team. I'm gonna get that heal bell off, he goes to a Moonblast, hoping I'd stay in. Does not happen. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go for the heal bell here. Get rid of the paralysis off my Altaria, which is what I needed to do. He's gonna switch out and go into his guard chomp here. So I do get the heal bell off, the heal bell chimes, and the paralysis is wiped off my Altaria, which is excellent. Yep. He's going to withdraw his Garchomp, predicting a switch on my part. And I do switch, actually, by going to my own Garchomp, hoping that he would Iron Head into it, but yeah. So my Garchomp is out, 
And he's not going to stay out. He's going to get out of there and go into his own Clefable. Again, as I go for an Earthquake. This is my Rocky Helmet Defensive Guard Shop. And yeah, it does about a third to Clefable. I'm going to switch my Guard Shop out and go back into Sakura the Clefable. No, actually, I'm going to go with three besties predicting a Moonblast. So he does go for a Calm Mind, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. Because I don't think I can take him out with Flash Cannon. So I'm going to go for a Volt Switch right here, knowing that he will not switch up Clefable after setting up with it. I'm going to go right into my own Clefable. So Sakura the Clefable, which has Unaware. So out comes Clefable. He goes for a Soft World. Which is okay with me, really. But yeah, I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave on his Clefable as well. And basically for the next few turns, it's going to be Clefable versus Clefable. And it's going to happen again. And I do apologize for that, but you have to bear with me here. So Clefable gets healed with the leftovers. Then we go for a Moonblast. Fortunately, I am unaware, and I don't think he was aware of that. So Thunder Wave on my Clefable. It's a Clefable war, basically. But hey, you got to do what you got to do to win, right, guys? So this Clefable is fully paralyzed. I'm going to go for a heal bell as well to wash off that paralysis off my Clefable. Because I really don't want to be hindered when I'm trying to recover here. So, yep. Yeah, another Moonblast on his Clefable. It's going to knock him down to yeah, about 40% health. He's going to heal leftovers, which is fine. Another Moonblast. Hoping that he gets fully paralyzed next turn so I can finish him. Him off moon blast, but no, he goes to the soft world again, and my progress of taking out his fable is gone. Really, real bummer right there. So I'm gonna switch Sakura out. I'm gonna go into Magneton. Don't know why. Predicting the Thunder Wave actually, which worked out in my favor. So I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch here. Again, he's not gonna switch out. Glad he did not switch out in Garchomp. That would have been really bad. So I'm gonna go right into Sakura again. Because it is unaware of what this Clefable is trying to do. Or what the opposing Clefable is trying to do. Um, Moonblast again. This is going to go on for a few more turns, I believe. Lowers his special attack this time. He's fully paralyzed. Or his Clefable is fully paralyzed, rather. And I'm going to go for yet another Moonblast. It's going to hit Clefable again. Another special attack drop for his Clefable. And it goes to Thunder Wave again. And at this point, I'm thinking he's, at this point, he's going to probably switch out into his Heatran. I do go for Heal Bell, so he does not switch out this turn. Um, he's going to go for a Soft Oil to regain all of his health. This is actually going nowhere, to be honest. And I'm going to go for yet another Moon Blast on his Clefable. I don't know what I was trying to do here, but Clefable is my best bet against his. And he's going to go for a Moon Blast of mine, and he's going to get the Special Attack drop as well. Holy mackerel. How long is this going to go on, guys? I don't really know. So they're both going to get healed by leftovers. Um, I'm gonna, he's going to switch out his Clefable, actually, and go into Heatran here. And here's something that took me by surprise. Now, I'm going to go for a Moon Blast. It's going to do Jack Diddley Squat, obviously. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave here, and he's going to actually go for Fire Blast. And this does a crap load of damage on Clefable. I mean, I know it's sad, but my Clefable is Column Nature, Max Special Attack, or max special defense EVs, max HP EVs. And this tells me that his Heatran is more than likely specs, at least that's what I think. So I'm gonna go for a Moonlight again after paralyzing his Heatran. Hoping that maybe he'll master get fully paralyzed. He's gonna go for the Fire Blast again, and holy critical hit! There goes my out to his Clefable, which really, really sucks. And now I'm put in a very uncomfortable position, basically. So I'm gonna go into my, um, in front, I'm gonna go for the U-turn, knowing that he's not gonna wanna lose his Heatran yet. He's going to go on his guard chomp, and there you go. Yep. So out goes Infernape. In comes my Fluffy Bay, the Altaria. I'm going to go for a D-Nance again. Thinking maybe I can sort of survive a possible Iron Head if he has one, but out comes Scarring, and yeah, D-Nance. Now, I made a very ballsy play here. I stayed in and went for the return, predicting him to switch, to predict a switch out for me. And that actually works to my advantage because he does switch into Tyrantar and this plus one return will knock it out. So I did I did make a very ballsy prediction here. And yeah. So basically Altar is gonna hit getting hit by a sandstorm. In comes Skarmory. Um I am not gonna keep Altaria out in there. 
There's no reason for me to. I'm going to go into Magneton. He's going to go for Iron Head, predicting me, possibly to predict another switch. That does not work. And now I've trapped this Skarmory in with Magneton. So he's going to set up a layer of spikes as a last ditch thing to do with Skarmory. And Thunderbolt will finish off the Skarmory pronto, which is great for me. So out goes Skarmory. In comes his low point. Not what I want to deal with. I don't think Magneton can outspeed a. Low punny, so I'm gonna go into go or mega low punny rather. Actually, I could have because mega low punny's speed is 105 before mega evolution, so I'm not still not gonna risk it though. He's gonna go for a high jump kick on my Magneton, but he hits my guard chop instead. Rocky helmet and rough skin damage adds up. Plus, well, the sandstorm subsides, unfortunately. So I'm gonna keep guard chop in, hoping for another miss, does not or a miss rather, and it does not happen so. Again, Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet alone did over 50% to Low Pine two times each. Well, two Rough Skin hits and Rocky Helmet hits, and yeah. I'm going to go for a Fire Punch here, predicting the switch in Clefable, but it does go into Guard Shop instead, which kind of sucks for me. It really does, but um, his Guard Shop is burned thanks to the Fire Punch. And my Infernape is unfortunately down to 1 HP, so I'm like, you know, Hail Mary, let's go for, for a Fire Punch and, you know, just sack it off because I don't have a Defogger or a Spinner, and I know this thing is bound to set up rocks, plus there's Spikes already on the field, so Infernape's not going to survive the Spikes in the next switch in, so. Back up comes my Mega Altaria here. Fortunately, Skarmory is gone, which is the check or counter to Mega Altaria. He's going to withdraw his Garchomp, and he is going to go into Clefable as I go for a... D dance. I'm gonna go for a return, hoping that this is possibly enough. It probably won't be actually because of the last damage output returned it on Cliff Fable. But I'm gonna go for the return, and that critical hit really helped me out here. It really did. So, yeah. He's gonna go to Heatron here. Um, I'm gonna go for an Earthquake. You probably thought, was hoping I did not have Earthquake, but I did, and Heatron does go down. And so it goes low point. I don't know why I didn't go for an earthquake here. When it would most likely to check out whatever he switched in or if he kept low point in. But I do go for a return here. Didn't even think I was faster than the low point, to be honest. And that does knock the guard shot out. Rough skin and rocky helmet, unfortunately. And I am praying to the gods that he does not have fake out. Because if he has fake out, I possibly lost this. And I'm also praying I do have speed. And I managed to have speed. And he does not have fake out, which is awesome for me. So yeah, that's basically how the battle went down, and I was really relieved that his low pain did not have fake out, and that, well, the jolly nature of my Mega Altaria actually came in use. I'm not really sure if his low pain was adamant or jolly or not. If it was adamant, I don't know if that mattered. Maybe if he was still not sped, but then again, um, I believe Mega Altaria is base 80 speed, and Mega Low Pony is base 135, so probably not. But yeah, with that being said, that was a fantastic battle. There were some hacks, there was some Clefable stall on both sides. My Rapid Spinner unfortunately fainted early, and as I mentioned in the introduction, this team has since been taken apart, but I might work on it again. I do love using Mega Altaria. It is a fantastic Pokemon. One of the best Megas in OU. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna head off for the day. There'll be no more videos after this. Have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. I'll see you on my live streams. And yeah, stay salty, Rage Quitters. Stay salty.